Hi everyone. Uh, we are Group Five student. I'm Vicky Jung, and here are my group mates, uh, Dora, Logan, Sean, Daisy, and Sophia. Today we are here to talk about food poisoning in event in Hong Kong. Here is the content of our presentation, which included the news, case analysis, uh, possible causes of food poisoning, suggestion, and also the conclusion. We have found the news here. It's about 11 people got food poisoning after ingestion of steamed crab and steamed oyster. It's mentioned that the CHP was investigating a case of food poisoning on 13 June 2022. The symptoms appear after about 4 to 42 hours. Symptoms included abdominal pain, fever, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. It involved five men and six women in the case aged between 14 and 17 years old. They got food poisoning after ingestion of steamed crab and steamed oyster on, Ju on 3rd June. Now pass to Logan to elaborate more about the signs and symptoms. Thank you, Vicky. Hi, I'm Logan. We are going to analyze the signs and symptoms in this case now. In this case, 11 people were involved and they are in age 14 to 70. They started to have symptoms like abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. The incubation period in between four hours to 42 hours. Luckily, all of them didn't in a serious status. So they don't have to stay in hospital for treatment after they seek medical advice. According to the sign and symptoms and the incubation period, we found that there are at least two microorganisms involved in this case. I will now pass the time to Daisy to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Logan. Hi, I'm Daisy. Besides the incubation period, according to our case, it is found that there is a biological hazard of foodborne disease. In this chart, here are some possible microorganisms which can cause food poisoning disease. As different food categories will breed different microorganisms, the food mentioned in our case, which are steam crab and steam oyster, will be analyzed. Firstly, steam crab belongs to the food category of seafood, which is most likely to breed organism Fribio, especially Fribio parahemolyticus which is a more common presence in food poisoning disease. Secondly, steam oyster is the food category of, of shellfish, which is most likely to breed Fribio and novel virus. To conclude, the microorganisms which cause victims to have food poisoning disease are most likely Fribio, Fribio parohemolyticus and novel virus. And now I will pass the time to Dora to talk about some and other possible causes. Thank you, Daisy. Hello, I'm Dara, and I'm going to talk about the two main possible causes that cause food poisoning. The first one would be the poor condition for storing frozen seafood. The forced seafood store at 4 degrees Celsius or less would favor the microorganism to grow up. Also, store food or seafood like oysters and crabs do not put in containers with lids would increase the contact between raw and ready-to-eat food. Besides, insufficient thawing time would also lead to a bacteria breathing. And the second possible cause is cooking method. Since customers may have inadequate knowledge about the cooking time and temperature of different seafood by using the steam cooker. Moreover, using the same utensils to handle fresh and cooked food would increase the risk of food poisoning. And cooked seafood may not be eaten immediately and not piping hot pyro to surface. So all of this would make the food poisoning cause. And I'll pass the time to Sophia. Thank you, Dora. I'm Sophia. I will talk about the suggestion. 
For suggestion for preparation, we should keep the personal food environment hygiene, avoid to eat the raw seafood because they may have some microorganism did not be heated by cooking. It should be confirmed the food are well cooked and prepare food with caution and separate the raw and cooked food using different tableware. For preparation for food and cooking, when you defrost the frozen food, put it inside to, into the refrigerator at two, zero degree to four degree. Although defrosting in the fridge may take a long time, but it is the more proper way to defrost. If you need to cook the frozen food immediately, you may use the microwave and running water to defrost it before you cook, but you need to use them immediately. Food handlers or cooks should have changes in handling all kinds of food, especially raw food. Take care of the risks of cross-contaminated contaminated contamination and have good personal hygiene to prevent it, especially proper and frequent hand washing. We feel the risk of cross contamination in and food direction before food preparation and having safety during eliminate the treat. Make sure all the seafood is well cooked. And that's all for the suggestion. Now I will pass the time to Sean. Thank you, Sylvia. So here's the conclusion. Based on the preliminary information, such as the incubation period, the duration of the disease, and the signs and symptoms, which given from the news, we have concluded two to three microorganisms that may cause the disease for the victims in this case, which is fibrial, fibrial, fibrial parahemolyticus and norovirus. The temperature of the food and the cooking method may also cause the breed of microorganism. However, this is just a determination of the preliminary information and the likely causes. More laboratory and no more laboratory tests and investigations are needed to identify the exact or some unknown bacteria or virus. So here's the reference. So this is our presentation. Thank you.